Hi friends, in this video we are solving problem on Jacobian. Given problem is if u is equal to yz by x, v is equal to xz by y, w is equal to xy by z, then find Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. Same problem they are asking another way that is y1 is equal to x2 by x3, x2 x3 by x1, y1 is equal to x2 x3 by x1, y2 is equal to x1 x3 by x2, y3 is equal to x1 x2 by x3. Then show that uh, dou of y1 y2 y3 by dou of x1 x2 x3 is equal to 4. Okay friends you observe why these two are similar I am going to explain now. Now u is a fun u v w are functions of x comma y comma z x comma y comma z. When you are discussing u you see this is when you are discussing u y z are in terms in a numerator and x is in the denominator you see u v w when you are discussing u y z are in the numerator x is in denominator next when you are discussing v x z are in the numerator x z are in the numerator y is in denominator when you are discussing w x y are in the numerator z is in the denominator similarly here also you observe y1 y2 y3 they are given here these are x1 x2 x3 functions of x1 x2 x3 now i am discussing y1 so x2 x3 in the numerator x1 is in the denominator now y2 while discussing y2 x1 x3 by x2 x3 in the denominator if it is y3 x3 in the denominator so both are similar problems or not so this is the jacobian they will ask sometimes find the jacobian or else may they will ask show that this value is equal to for both will be same at the end we will discuss inverse jacobian now coming to the solution friends you see we have to find jacobian of u comma v comma w with respect to x comma y comma z from the jacobian of three independent variables we have determinant of u is a function of x y z so differentiate u first with respect to x formula i am explaining dou u by dou x you can also write as u x next u with respect to y that is dou u by dou y u with respect to z dou u by dou z simply uh, simply you can write it u x as a dou u by dou x simply you can write dou u by dou x is equal to u x remember now u, u is over next you have v so v also with respect to x next with respect to y with respect to z another variable you have that is Another function we have that is w, w with respect to x, w with respect to y, w with respect to z. That's it. Now we need to find this all partial derivatives and we need to substitute uh, all the values in this determinant. Then you will get the Jacobian value. Okay friends. Now coming to the partial derivatives of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z. First I am writing the given function u. u is y, z by x. Remember friends. Now I am differentiating u partially with respect to x. While differentiating partially with respect to x, we have to treat all other variables as a constant only. So numerator and denominator is containing, but the numer is numerator is containing x term? No. So it is independent of x. So this will be constant. Now I have 1 by x. So what is the 1 by x derivative? We know that uh, x derivative is 1. We know that uh, x derivative is 1. 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square. Yes or no? So this will be minus 1 by x square. Now u with respect to y. u with respect to y. y is in the numerator. z by x is actually independent of y. So first you write down the term y derivative is 1. Now u with respect to z. u with respect to z means z is in the numerator. z derivative with respect to z is 1, y by x is a independent of z. So, y by x is a constant, z derivative is 1. Now, similarly, v is equal to, we have x, z by y. So, can you answer now? Easy only now? Yes or no? Now, v, y is, first v, x we need to find. v, x is equal to, here x is, you have, x you have in the numerator, so x derivative is 1. So, z by y is independent into 1 is z by y only v with respect to y y is in the denominator numerator is independent so xz by uh, xz only first 1 by y derivative minus 1 by y square with respect to y we are doing that is the reason okay next 
P with respect to Z. With respect to Z, Z is in the numerator. So, X by Y is independent of Z. Z derivative is 1. And last we need to find W function partial derivatives. So, W is equal to you have X, Y by Z. Now, I am differentiating W partially with respect to X. So, X is in the, X is in the numerator. So, Y by Z is independent. X derivative is 1. W with respect to Y. Y is in the numerator. So, X by Z is here independent. Y derivative is 1. Next, W with respect to Z. Here, X, Y is in the numerator. So, it is independent. 1 by Z is there. 1 by Z derivative minus 1 by Z square. So, these all values we need to substitute in the Jacobian formula. Okay. So, substitute these all values, then Jacobian of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z is first u, x. What is the u, x you have? You see, minus y, z by x square. Next, u, y is z by x. u, z is y by x. Now, v with respect to x is z by y. v with respect to y is minus x, z by y square. v with respect to z is x by y. w with respect to x is y by Z. W with respect to Y is X by Z. W with respect to Z is minus X Y by Z square. Okay friends. Now we have to find the determinant. Here you have a uh, functions only not uh, constants. So these are okay. You can say variables. These are not constant. So you cannot uh, directly do the determinant. In this case what I am doing means for the entire first row. I am multiplying x square. If I multiplied x square, outside what you have to do? Divide with x square. So, other, other case, what I can say means, take the common from the first row, 1 by x square. If I take in 1 by x square, what will happen? You see, in the first row, minus yz. If I take an x square is a common, 1 by x square is a common, then it will be xz. 1 by x square, if I take in common, then it will be xy. Now, I am taking common 1 by y square. 1 by y square I can write here. Okay. Now, 1 by y square if I take in common, then I will have zy. Here also, I can take common 1 by y square. That is minus xz. Next, here I am taking 1 by y square common. Then I will have yx. Yes or no? Next, from this, I can take common. Y, z is there, z is there. So, 1 by z square I am taking common. Then I will have 1 by x square, y square, z square outside. In the determinant you have y into z. Here you have a x into z. Here you have a minus x, y. Okay friends. Now you observe. First column is containing y, z, z, y, y, z. Nothing but it is containing z, y term only. So can I take z, y term common? Yes, you can take. Now y, z is a common. From this xz, xz, xz. So, if I take in xz outside. Next, here uh, I can take uh, xy, xy, xy common. So, I can write here xy terms common. Okay. Product only this is. Remember, product of the terms. Okay. Now, if I take in a common, then I will have minus 1. Here I have 1. It is 1. And this is 1 minus 1. This is 1. This is 1. Here also 1. And here, if I take an xy common, then I will get a minus 1. Now, we have to find out this determinant value. And outside, you observe, denominator is containing x square, y square, z square. What about the numerator? y into y, y square. z into z, z square. x into x, x square. So, these are numerator and denominator getting cancelled. Now, you have to evaluate determinant value. So, now minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 and uh, 1 into 1 1 so 1 minus 1 next minus 1 times of 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 into 1 1 plus 1 times of 1 into 1 is 1 minus of minus plus 1 okay now if you are simplified then 1 minus 1 is 0 this is minus 2 of uh, minus 1 is plus 2 and here you have a plus 2. So, if you are simplified, then you are getting 4. So, this is the value of Jacobian U, V, W with respect to X, Y, Z. This is equivalent to 4. Friends, you remember, if the Jacobian value is, is equal to 0, then you can say 
functional functions are dependent functions are dependent if the jacobian value is not is equal to 0 then you can say the functions are functionally independent okay now if the functions are independent you can also find out the inverse jacobian same problem may they will ask find the inverse jacobian means just you need to find out the jacobian only okay when it is possible inverse jacobian means if x is in terms of u y is in terms of u z is also in terms of u then you can find out sorry x is in terms of uvw y is in terms of uvw z is in terms of uvw then you can find out easily but here you see u is in terms of xyz v is in terms of xyz w is in terms of xyz you are unable to rearrange xyz or uvw xyz or in uvw so we have a property j into j dash is equal to 1 j dash is here inverse jacobian i know the j value what is the j value 4 so 4 into j dash is equal to 1 therefore the inverse jacobian is 1 by 4 is it clear friends right similarly you can also say the jacobian of y1 y2 y3 or with respect to x1 x2 x3 value is also what four only okay friends now i am giving one problem for you please try to solve okay and compare with uh, my answer if you are getting please respond in the comment box if u is equal to e to the power of x into sin y and v is equal to x into log of sin y then find uh, jacobian of u comma v with respect to x comma y friends i am giving answer you see you have to get this answer Jacobian is e to the power of x into cos of x minus log of sin y. So, if you are getting correct answer, please uh, respond in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.